Hi Miriam, hi Sarah, hi Ruth. We are doing violin lessons in my living room today, which is very strange, <laughs> but we're just making um, the best out of a weird situation right now. So um, I hope you got your music that I emailed. This We are going to be playing a trio of um, Jupiter by Holst, which is one of my most, most favorite pieces. I just love um, the planets. Is the planets a symphony? Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, the planet symphony. Um, is that where Mars comes from? Uh, yeah, Mars, Jupiter, Neptune. There's another one back here. Anyway, if you get a chance, look look it up on YouTube. Um, Mars is the best one. It is just, oh my goodness, it's over the top. You will love Is it Mars Bringer of War? Yeah, that's the title of the Mars um, movement, is Mars Bringer of War. It is just tons of fun. Um, but we're going to play Jupiter because we don't have all of the instruments to play Mars. Mars is usually played with lots of brass, lots of percussion. Um, there are some strings in it, but it's not a kind of piece that you can play just with strings. It's a pretty wild piece, but lots of fun. But Jupiter is a very, very beautiful, and it is played a lot of times with just strings. Um, if you've ever been, to, I don't know if they still do this, but if you've ever been to the Discovery Center, I know used to, um, before every planetarium show, they introduced it with um, Jupiter, with the song Jupiter. So we're going to play um, Jupiter. This is a trio. However, <laughs> we only have two violinists who live at our house, so we're making it into a duet. We are not playing the third violin part. We are just playing violin one and violin two. The reason I chose second violin um, is because it switches off the melody with first violin. So first violin starts with the melody, switches to second violin, switches back to first. Third violin never, poor little third violin, never gets the melody <laughs> in this one. You're just playing, um, it's not a bass line, but it's kind of considered what would be the bass line, um, what the cello would play, for instance. So that's what the third violin is on this, is just kind of that steady, that steady beat underneath. The hard thing about Jupiter that we have found is the counting. Um, there are lots of rests, and you really have to count those rests. If you barrel right through them, it, it, it gets really jumbled and really confusing. So since it's in 3-4 time, if you don't have a metronome, which is okay, I actually prefer to use my foot, you know that, instead of a metronome. Just keep a steady beat with your foot. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then just count in your head as you go. You can even count out loud if it helps you here at the beginning. Just count in your head as you go. One, two, three. One, two, three. Um, because the rest is, the rest are also in kind of an awkward place in the measure. They're on beat number two which is a strange place to put a rest. It works, it sounds nice, but it's hard to count. So you're, you're going to have to really think this through and get that, that rest on the second beat of the measure. So Bailey is playing violin one. one. I'm going to play violin two, and we're going to play it through for you so you can kind of get an idea of what it sounds like. Hold on just a second. Hands are sweaty. We had to turn off the air conditioner because it was too loud to make videos. So my hands are sweaty. Okay, probably didn't need to know that. That's okay. Here we go. <laughs> Ready, play. Jupiter from the planets. As part of your um, 
music theory that we're working on. I've sent you a worksheet to work on. I hope it's self-explanatory. You are just labeling the fingerboard of your violin with note names. One of the sheets has all the answers. The other one is blank. Study the one with the answers. Flip it over, fill in the blank one, flip it back over, and check your answers. So number Jupiter if you need to. Um, hopefully you can find all of those letter names and finger numbers without me this week. But label in your numbers. Choose who's going to play which part. I know you'll switch it around quite a bit. So choose which part you want to play and start working on that. Next week, we will have one more week of video lessons, and then I am hoping and praying after that um, the governor lets us have more than 10 people in a business at a time, and I can open back up again. I know there's not 10 in our lesson, but I've got dozens of kids coming through every week, and so um, we decided to close it down because of that. So hopefully they'll lift those restrictions and we can open back up again and not have any question at all whether we can be there or not. So practice Jupiter. Next week, I'll send you another trio and another worksheet to work on to work on your note reading and your theory. And I miss you girls so much, and I hope you are doing great, and I hope your goats and your rabbits are doing okay. I've wondered about your goats um, since your story about the dogs getting in. Anyway, we'll get all caught up, and I'll see you in a couple of weeks. I love you girls. Bye-bye.